Hello! Welcome to English for Everyone, where we practice real-life American English. Today we're going to look at some confusing American pronunciation and learn how to understand Americans. Example, I can't beat her at ping pong. I can beat her at other games, but I can't beat her at ping pong. Beat her at? Beer at? Beer at? No, it's not beer at. It's beat her at. I can't beat her at ping pong. Peter, we hear that the H in her is silent. So that means the T in beat is phonetically between vowels. So it changes to a fast D. Beater, beater, beater at. Link the sounds. Link the R sound to the next A sound in at. Beater at, rat, beater at. I can't beat her at ping pong. She always wins. I can't win the game. So I say I can't beat her at ping pong. Let's hear some examples. He thought... I beat her at her own game. Stop trading insults back and forth and beat her at her own game. So example, he can't win when he plays ping pong with her. So I say he can't beat her. He can't beat her at ping pong. Let's practice. Can he beat her at ping pong? That's right. He can't beat her at ping pong. It's negative. So I stress the can't. I don't have to say can't. Can't. Use a stop T. He can't beat her at ping pong. It's impossible. He always loses. Example. I can beat her at chess. Positive. I can. I can. I can beat her at chess. In a positive statement, can is not stressed. It's pronounced can, can. I can. I can. I can beat her at chess. But I can't beat her at ping pong. For the negative, we stress the can't. But we don't release the T all the time. We make a stop T. I can't. I can't beat her at ping pong, but I can beat her at chess. Example, he can beat her at chess. He can win sometimes. So I say, he can beat her at chess. Let's practice. Can he beat her at chess? That's right, he can beat her at chess. And he can beat her at tennis. So remember, when you use the verb beat and you talk about a game, use the preposition at. Use the stop T, at. Not at, but at. Link the words. At tennis, at tennis. He can, he can beat her at tennis, but he can't beat her at ping pong. Let's practice. Can he beat her at tennis? That's right. He can beat her at tennis. Can he beat her at ping pong? That's right. It's negative. Stress the word. He can't beat her at ping pong. She's too good. And this is a true story. I cannot beat my wife at ping pong. I can beat her at most things, but I can't beat her at ping pong. And keep watching to practice with the differences between beat, win, earn, and gain. They're all a little different. So keep watching to practice more. Today we're learning the difference between these two verbs, win and beat. They're similar, but they're not the same. First, let's look at win. Win in the present and won in the past. The pronunciation of won is just like the number one. Win in the present one in the past. Example, you can win a game. You can win a competition. You can win a championship. Example, they won. They won the game. They won the championship. Now they are the champions. What about beat? Beat in the present, beat in the past, and the participle is beaten. So again, in the present, beat. In the past, beat. Same spelling, same pronunciation for both the present and the past. But the participle is different. It's beaten. We don't say beaten, you can, but it's better in America to say beaten. Make that T a stop T, stop the air, beat, mm, and then fall to the end. Beaten. Example, the blue team beat the red team. I cannot say the blue team won the red team. We have to use beat in this case. Beat is the same as defeat. Defeat in the present, defeated in the past. I can say the blue team defeated the red team. It's the same idea, but I cannot use win. So in the past, the blue team beat the red team. The blue team won the game. Why can't I beat you at this game? I beat you, did not. You think I beat him the last time, do you? That was textbook execution. Same scores I beat you with in Oslo. I beat him in a battle. War's over. I gotta go home. I beat him before. I 
and beat them again. I mean, the Mohawks have beaten us the last 12 years. They're going to beat us again. Sure. Mohawk has beaten us 12 years in a row. They beat us by seven. I beat them at their own game. I won. I beat them all. The Soviets have beaten us at every single major space accomplishment. Let's practice. Who won the game? Did the blue team win the game? That's right, the blue team won the game. Let's practice with beat. Did the blue team beat the red team? That's right, the blue team beat the red team. Now let's talk about a race. He won the race. The guy in the white shirt. Win in the present, won in the past. He won the race. So we can use win when you talk about a race, a championship, a game, a competition. But if I talk about person to person, like he and the other people, I use the verb beat. He beat the other people in the race. He beat them in the past. So let's look at all the tenses. In the present, beat, he beats them. I change it with an S when it's a routine. I can say he always beats them. Whenever they race, he always beats them. He always wins the race. In the past, today, they had the race today, and he beat them again. In the past, beat. He beat them again. Or if I use present perfect, he has beaten them. He has beaten them every time. Every time they raced, he has beaten them. Let's practice. Did he win the race? That's right, he won the race. Does he always beat them? That's right, he always beats them. Did he beat them again today? That's right, he beat them again today. Has he beaten them every time? That's right, he has beaten them every time. So remember, use win in the present and won in the past when you talk about games, competition, races. And use beat in the present beat, in the past beat, and the participle beaten when you're talking about person to person or team to team. Beat is the same as defeat. Defeat in the present and defeated in the past. Today we're looking at these three words, win, earn, and gain. They're all similar, but they're used a little differently. Let's take a closer look. First, let's talk about win. We use win for money and other things when there's a competition, when there's some kind of game involved. Example, if you go to the casino, you can win money because it's like a game. In the present, win. In the past, won. If I ask a question, I use did. Did he win any money at the casino? And I use the present verb, win. Did he win any money at the casino? And you answer yes. He won some money. He won some money at the casino. Let's practice. Did he win any money at the casino? That's right. He won some money at the casino. Now let's talk about earn. Earn is used for money and other things, but the idea is that you had to work for it. If you work for the money, you earn the money. Example, he earns a lot of money at his job. Let's practice. Does he earn a lot of money at his job? That's right. He earns a lot of money at his job. And you can earn other things too, not only money. You can earn someone's respect. If you had to work for it, use the word earn. You can earn someone's respect. And now let's talk about gain. It can be used for many things, but the most common is weight. We say you gain weight. When you get bigger, you gain weight. Example, he was thinner before, but now he's bigger. He gained a lot of weight. Let's practice. Did he gain a lot of weight? That's right, he gained a lot of weight. So the most common example of gain is weight. We do use it for other things, like you can gain perspective, or you can gain an advantage, but weight is the most common. And remember, gain is not used for money. It's used for things. So remember, if you're talking about money, use win or earn. Win if it's a game, and earn if you have to work for it. And gain is most commonly used for weight. Thank you for watching, and if you like this video, subscribe to our channel. And if you want to become a member, click the join button. And we'll see you next time.